Welcome to the first episode of Mideast Documentaries. Mideast Documentaries is a series that focuses on documentaries and serious stuff. Ibraj al Bayt, Arabic, Towers of the House, is a government owned complex of seven skyscraper hotels in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. These towers are a part of the King Abdulaziz endowment project that aims to modernize the city in catering to its pilgrims. The central hotel tower, the Mecca Royal Clock Tower, has the world's largest clock face and is the third tallest building and fifth tallest freestanding structure in the world. The clock tower contains the clock tower museum that occupies the top four floors of the tower. The building complex is meters away from the world's largest mosque and Islam's most sacred site, the Great Mosque of Mecca. The developer and contractor of the complex is the Saudi Bin Laden Group, the kingdom's largest construction company. It is the world's most expensive building with a total cost of construction totaling 15 billion US dollars. The complex was built after the demolition of the Ayyad Fortress, the 18th century Ottoman citadel on top of a hill overlooking the Grand Mosque. The destruction of the historically significant site in 2002 by the Saudi government sparked international outcry and a strong response from Turkey. The tallest tower in the complex is the tallest building in Saudi Arabia, with a height of 601 meters 1972 feet. Currently it is the fifth tallest freestanding structure in the world, surpassing the Ping and Finance Center in Shenzhen, China but shorter than the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, UAE, the Tokyo Skytree in Tokyo, Japan, the Shanghai Tower in Shanghai, China, and the Canton Tower in Guangzhou, China. The site of the complex is located across the piazza to the south from the main entrance, King Abdulaziz Gate, to the Masjid al-Haram Mosque, which houses the Kaaba. To accommodate worshippers visiting the Kaaba, the Abraj al Bayt Towers has two large prayer rooms, one for men, one for women, capable of holding more than 10,000 people. The tallest tower in the complex also contains a five-star hotel, operated by Fairmont Hotels and Resorts, to help provide lodging for the millions of pilgrims that travel to Mecca annually to participate in the Hajj. In addition, the Abraj al Bayt Towers has a five-story shopping mall, the Abraj al Bayt Mall, and a parking garage capable of holding over a thousand vehicles. The building was planned to be 734 meters 2408 feet tall in 2006. In 2009, it was published that the final height would be 601 meters 1972 feet. The complex was built by the Saudi Bin Laden Group, Saudi Arabia's largest construction company. The tallest building in the complex, from a height of 450 meters, 1480 feet, up until the tip, was designed by the German architect Mahmoud Bodo Rash and his firm SL Rash GmbH. The facade was constructed by Premier Composite Technologies, the clock by German tower clock manufacturer Berat GmbH Amp, company KG Termahan und Lautinlagen. According to the Saudi Ministry of Religious Endowments, the project cost 15 billion US dollars. The building is topped by a four-faced clock, visible from 25 kilometers, 16 miles, away. The clock is the highest in the world at over 400 meters, 1,300 feet, above the ground. The clock faces are the largest in the world, surpassing the Kavahir Mall clock in Istanbul. Each of the clock's four faces measures 43 meters, 141 feet, in diameter and are illuminated by two million LED lights, with four oriented edges, just above the clock alongside huge Arabic script reading, God is, the, greatest on the north and south faces and on the west and east there is no God but Allah. Muhammad is the messenger of God. Four golden domes on pillars on all the corners are also present. Another 21,000 white and green colored lights, the same as the Saudi flag, fitted at the top of the clock, flash to signal Islam's five-time daily prayers, and are visible as far as 30 kilometers, 19 miles, away. On special occasions such as New Year, 16 bands of vertical lights shoot 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles, 
up into the sky. The minute hand is 23 meters, 75 feet, long, while the hour hand is 17 meters, 56 feet, long. A private viewing deck is located 558 meters, 1831 feet, above the ground, right under the crescent. There is also a public viewing deck at the 75 feet, golden crescent at the top. The spire has an eight-story glass-covered base, the jewel, which belongs to a scientific center having its own small exhibition, another observation deck at 475 meters, 1558 feet, and a prayer floor in 480 meters, 1570 feet. The highest floor in the jewel is the control tower floor, which was planned to be used for controlling air traffic in the sky above Mecca, mainly helicopters as airplanes are not allowed near Mecca. However, this was skipped for technical reasons and the future usage is not clear yet. Above from the jewel the spire has only technical installations for sound, light and other infrastructure and eventually the last viewing deck and the crescent above it. The crescent has two regular floors with living areas and a few service floors and rooms. The crescent was constructed in Dubai by Premier Composite Technologies in April 2011. The crescent is made of fiberglass backed mosaic gold, and it weighs up to 35 tons. Persio Joseph, the company official, said a team of five engineers and a hundred workers carried out the project, which cost 90 million United Arab Emirates dirhams and took three months to build. The company has also constructed the Mecca clock. The crescent was divided into ten parts to move it to Mecca. The crescent was partly assembled on the base of the clock face to reduce it to five parts. Those five parts were then lifted and installed above the spire from 20 June to the 6th of July 2011. The minaret and its space have loudspeakers which broadcast prayer calls to a distance of 7 kilometers while nearly 21,000 lamps illuminate the surrounding area to a distance of 30 kilometers, 19 miles. During occasions like Muslim Ides and New Hijri years, a 16-beam light illuminates an area of a diameter of around 10 kilometers, 6 miles, while 21,000 lamps beam white and green lights to a distance of 30 kilometers, 19 miles. The light beams are intended to allow the deaf, and Muslims in more distant parts of Mecca and nearby cities, to know prayer timings. Now, I am going to show you a footage of lightning striking the clock tower. Let's see. That's it for today guys. Like and subscribe and stay tuned. See you in the next video.
Thank you.